Welcome to Journey with Sean. Today is Thursday, and let me tell y'all, it is hot here in Southern California. If you put an egg on the ground, I promise you it will fry. Anyway, how are you guys doing this lovely Thursday? I hope your week has been going good so far. Um, Thursdays is always good because it's close to Friday. Anyway, so I'm out and about today. I do need to make a run by Bath and Body Works. Um, hopefully, I can do a film in there. If I can't, I will show you the small little haul that I did get this week. Uh, yesterday, they did have it where, oops, showing my mama. <laughs> yesterday, they did have it where it was the body scrubs, you guys. I hope you guys got that sale, the body scrubs for $6.95, I believe they were. $6.95, you guys. And they were regular, like, some of them are $13.50. And some of them are $16.50. But I made sure that I didn't get, I, I like the ones that were good for your skin. Um, you'll see which ones I got. But I like the ones that are good for your skin. And I got those. I got probably six of them. Cause you know what? Because, not cause, because. I didn't want to go crazy. You can go crazy at Bath and Body Works and you have to do a budget. So yesterday, even though it was $6.95 and it was 15 limit, I only chose six. So I will ch um, share that with you guys. I'm sorry, five. I will share that with you guys um, on this haul this evening that I'm going to do. But right now, we're going there because they have a men's sale. And I haven't forgotten about you men out there. You know, you guys need to understand that you can go to Bath and Body Works also and get um, nice scented stuff. You can get uh, bath scrubs. You can get, they have a new line of men stuff so that's where we're going right now to see because I'm gonna grab some things for my son actually he's gonna grab some things for himself but I'm gonna show you in the hall what he chose okay so I'm headed here to Bath and Body Works and I'm going inside hopefully I can but if this manager is here today I'm not gonna be able to bring it in because she's just like no you can't film in here just like okay girl whatever so anyway we're gonna go inside of here this is the outdoor I'll call it the outdoor Bath and Body Works because it's not the mall one that I used to go to. Those girls do not mind when I come in and videotape. I really do love them. Um, but anyway, their their customer service is very nice. But anyway, so these people can drive. So headed in here, see what we can find, and I'll check back with you guys later. See you soon. I think there's a space over there on the other side. No, right over there under the tree. Always under the tree is better. Okay, you guys. See you soon. Head to back. And body works. Okay, you guys, so this is a new men collection. Ocean. So we're in here right now. I want to see which ones he's going to pick out. Okay. The new candle. I love the new candles. The new blue ones right here. These right here. I love this. That's pretty. It's my fizzies. But yeah, so. Oh, look at these. Mama, stay out. That's cute. Okay, you guys, so let me see what we can find. This one is so cute. I love that. I don't think I need any more of these, but these guys are so cute. Let's see. Oh, and I love this. That is really cute, too. The little bling. That is cute. Do I need any more? That's really cute. I like that one, too. Trying to figure out what I'm going to get here. Beautiful day. I don't even have a beautiful day, but I need to say sweet pea. Okay. All right. This is what I'm looking for right in here. One of these. So this is the benefit area. See what all we can find. Maybelline. Okay. So let me see what I can find in here, you guys. Check out the benefits. All right. Okay, you guys, so I just came out of Ulta. This is so crazy. So I go into Ulta 
y'all saw the benefit section and i'm like i asked one of the tab chaser down but i'm not gonna do a yelp i promise <laughs> but i asked one of the young ladies that was walking past i'm like hi yes you guys i heard you do samples of your foundation you think maybe you know if you can I, so i'm walking over to where i want i turn around she's nowhere in sight then she comes up to me like oh I i'll be right back and I said, do you guys do samples so that she's like, oh, no, we don't do samples. I'm so sorry. We don't do that anymore. So I'm like, okay, so what place does not give out samples? I'm persistent. So then I see another young lady. She comes up first thing. Hi. And I'm like, oh, hi, how are you? And then I ask her, yes, I'm trying to find you know a sample do you guys do samples she said well we don't have them out she said but i can make you a sample she said what are you looking for and i told her she said okay well let's try and see which one you know fits your face she had me sit down in a chair and she put um it was one with hazelnut and this one is amber so she did one on each cheek to see which one matches you guys so the amber ended up matching which i got my sample right here right there she she was just as sweet as ever amber ended up matching but the point of what i'm saying all this for is i got a sample why did she say that they didn't do a sample i don't understand some people anyway if you see that you have this the girl went into a drawer she pulled the sample bottle out if you see you have sample bottles don't be mean to people respect the customer oh my goodness so anyway I'm happy I got the sample, you guys. And this one is Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it is by Benefit. And I'm going to try this. And if I like it, I'm going to also go next week and get the primer. Because my I have, like, large pores. And my skin is very oily. And my skin is recovering from the breakout. You guys can see it a little bit under my neck and on the side from the breakout. And it's recovering, thank you, Jesus. And uh, so I wanted to find a really good quality um, foundation. However, I did, I work with students. And they're like, you gonna pay 30 something dollars for some foundation? You should try Maybelline. So I'll go and check and see if Maybelline work. But I'm all about seeing who's the best for me. So if Maybelline is good and it's more affordable, then I'll do Maybelline. But if Benefit is better than Maybelline, I'm gonna stick with Benefit. But, um, so yeah, I got it. Okay, so right now we're at the bank. As uh, soon as I, we get to our next location, you guys, then I'll let you know. Okay, you guys, so I'm inside, about to go inside of Sprouts, our local grocery store, can I see that? Sprouts. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. But they have the best watermelon right now. I, I ordered, I got a watermelon from them yesterday and the other day. And I'm coming here to get another watermelon and these veggie black bean burgers. I'll show you guys. And these veggie black bean burgers. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. So let's go in here. Which one are these watermelons? Over here. Let me pick out a watermelon, you guys. I'm gonna pick out a watermelon. Then I'm gonna go inside. Let me pick out a watermelon. Then I'm gonna go inside. Okay, so I'm getting some of these fruits. Two for four. So, these are very good. So I'm gonna get me some of these. All right. That. Let's go around here. Oh, let's go back over here. I'm looking for these veggie burgers. There they go. So, these are where I got these. The black bean quinoa. Here, Josh, try. Get that one. And then this one looks like it might be pretty good. Carrots, peas, broccoli, spinach. Mmm, that one looks delicious. And then they have a mushroom on here. That one looks delicious. This is all in there. Veggie section. Doctor, it's Dr. Paragers. I don't know what his name is, but you guys, he has the best veggie burgers. You guys have got to try him them out. And then these, I got these the other day. Oh yes, I got these the other day. Let me show you which ones. I'm gonna get some more tonight because they're two for six. The sweet potato fries. You guys, they are so delicious. You've got to try them. 
So let's see what else. I'm looking for some honey. That's the key. This one, but I saw this on sale at another store. That's cheaper than $2.99, even though that's a pretty good price. I like these drinks. Part of gold craft it with blend of organic pineapple juice and mint juice. I think I'm gonna try that one. Right. I think I'm gonna try this one. This one's a new one. Okay, you guys, so I just came out of Sprouts and I wanted to show you this drink I'm about to try. I'm gonna show you my other things. I got my um, black bean veggie burgers and my um, sweet potato fries because that's probably what I'm gonna eat tonight. But you guys, the Blueprint Organic Kombucha Heart of Gold Crafted with Blend and Organic Cold Pressed Pineapple, Apple, and Mint Juice. You guys, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. I hope that, so I'm gonna taste these. These are really good. The kombucha drinks. I probably drink one a week because I want to go crazy. But anyway, I saw something on Facebook yesterday. This girl and her family were doing a test on the pH um, that is in supposed to be in waters and the ones that are claiming to have a high pH. And she did a test. And this one, Essentia Hydration Perfected 9.5 pH or higher this one was I believe the best one out of all of them so I bought this one and I'm probably going to go get a taste I want to taste the water but I'm sure it's really good it's healthy for you so you guys check your pH make sure you're getting water with pH because if it's um I don't know if you guys can see it on Facebook she did a water test but anyway um if you if you do a pH test and if it's orange or green it's not good but if it's blue then it's pretty good so I'm about to test this right now okay you guys so I'll see you soon we're about to go get something to eat I've already told you that and I'll see you when I get there all right okay, you have 290 pictures. 290 what's your name my name is Jack Jack are you the owner one of them yeah. one of them this is Jack one of the owners you guys Dan super subs here in Woodland Hills on Ventura Boulevard. I always pass this place and I always want to try it, but look, this. They've been here for 37 years, and that looks like that's him right there. So I stopped by and saw this, you guys, and these are all, it's like a little famous spot here. Michael Jordan has been here. Magic Johnson has been here. This famous spot here. Let's see. Right the wood. All of these people have been at this place. It's one of these little mountain top spots. So this one here. Cuba Gooding Jr. has been here. This guy has been here. And then we gotta show you some. So this is their They're back there making and they sell. I love when they sell the nostalgia things. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Look at that big sandwich up here. Yeah. back there making this up. This is Wayne Brady, Shaquille O'Neal, and my favorite son, he eats cold. This is David Beckham has been in here. And this is Stevie. And this is their sub place. It's just like an old school breakfast, you guys. I love it. Dance sub, and you can even eat outside. It's cool. So this is their menu. That's their menu here. Because there's no different menus. Oh, yeah. I love places like this. It's nice to find a place like this over in this area. This is my first time. I always drive past this place, but I never stop. This is their stuff. They even have the old records of the uh, old school the best. But this is, I guess, like the owner. Dan Super Sub. Let's give you guys a little bit of. So, old school. I love old school spots. So, I saw this and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get some old school tonight. So, you guys, I'll show you what the sub looks like once they make it. And uh, I'll do a. Oh, can't you KTLA Super Dance. All right, you guys, so I'll show you sandwich as soon as we get it. All right. Okay, you guys, so this is the, which one was this one? The, my son's meatball sub. I don't want to put my hands on it, but it's all under the tomato um, and the 
lettuce, but that is, that is his meatball sub. And let me get to mine and I'll record it. Hold on one moment. Okay, you guys, so this is my smoked turkey and cheese and they put the pickle on the side. I thought, I like that. And I go, I'm glad that they cut it in half because I'm not gonna eat this whole thing by myself. But that's the smoked turkey and cheese. It smells delicious. Everything looks fresh. I just can't wait to taste it. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you what my mother got. Hold on one moment. Okay, so this is the turkey pastrami and it's with melted cheese. It's hot and it looks like it's really, really good. Can't wait to taste that. Um, I'm gonna take a little bite of this, see how it tastes. But yes, so that is the turkey pastrami, you guys. So he was very nice. That was my first time. I always hear about it in this area about Dan's um, sandwich shop and I always pass by it. And today I just was like, I don't want nothing too crazy. And I said, you know what? I don't feel like going home cooking, so I'll do the black bean probably Friday night. If my son doesn't surprise me or my mother doesn't surprise me or somebody else doesn't surprise me with something. So I probably would do that tomorrow, um, the black bean or maybe something else, we'll see. Hi guys, welcome to Journey with Shark. Okay, so I made it back home and I wanted to show you guys the Bath and Body Works scrub, scrubs I got yesterday because you know they have that sale for $6.95 for the scrubs and I went back today and got a couple more because like I said, be nice to the people and they'll use those coupons. Sometimes those coupons don't go out when they say one day only. You can go the next day if you are cool with salespeople and you treat them with respect and they'll give you a favor and give you a sale that was the day before, that was for one day. They'll also include it for that day too. So anyway, let me make a long story short because I don't want to, I, I have, I don't want this vlog to be too long because that's what I'm trying to do is cut down on my vlog times because I know I have one that's like almost an hour and I'm just like, that's way too much. So anyway, I can ramble y'all. I can do three hour vlogs straight and I'm sure y'all be like, girl, that's too much. Anyway, <laughs> so let me show you the scrubs that I got. The first one I have here is Coco Shea Coconut Richly Nourishing Body Buff. So I got this one. This one smells really good. Um, and I tried it at the sink. You know how you can try it at the sink? Make sure you try your scrubs to see if it really works well with your body. And this one was really, really good. And it is the intense soothing, you guys. I loved it. Okay, so that is, this one's regular priced $13.50. I got it for $6.50 yesterday. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, so that's one. Uh, the next one I have here is the At The Beach Sand and Sea Salt Scrub. You guys, this... It looks just like sand. I mean, literally, um, when I tried it at the sink, it literally, she told me, she said, you would think you were at the beach with this. Literally, it's just like sand. And the scrub is really good. This is an intense scrub. If you really need to get, like, dead skin really off, this one works really, really well. However, you need to put in a moisturizer on your skin immediately after you dry it off and everything. You guys, use a really good oil moisturizer because um, it's, it's, it's a pretty good scrub, <laughs> let me just say that much. Okay, um, so this is sand and sea salt scrub, and this is the beach one, at the beach, okay? That's that one. And this one smell, well, I really can't smell it because it's closed. Um, it's okay, it, it's, it's, not, it's not like it has a, a particular scent, it's, it's okay, it's, it's a decent smell. Okay, I tried to stay away from the real perfumey ones when I saw that. And this one's regular price. Let me get back to this. It's $16.50 for this one. Um, I tried to stay away from the real perfumey ones and was more concerned about, like, the natural body ones. So I did try, I did get this jasmine and green apple with natural jasmine extract clay body scrub. These are nice and gentle on the days that you're not using the real harsh ones. You can keep the dead skin completely off just by using these nice gentle and it's natural jasmine extract. So this one, and it smells so good. So I got this one and this one's regular price is $16.50 for that one. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the green one I got. And the next one I got is the Wildberry Chamomile with Natural Tea Oil. I mean, like, who doesn't want that? That just sounds so soothing to the skin. Um, so it's a clay body scrub. And let me tell you guys, I went over to the sink to try it. It literally is clay. Like, if you put this all over your body, you better make sure you rinse it off. And you don't have, like, streaks or white stuff anywhere behind your ear, on your neck. You guys, make sure you rinse it all the way off because it is white. Okay, so this is the Wild Berry Chamomile with Natural Tea Oil. So, I had to get that one. 
This one, of course, is $16.50. Got it for $6.95. I feel sorry for any of you out there that did not get that sale yesterday, but try to go back tomorrow and just see and just ask if you have a salesperson that you're real cool with. Just be like, you know, I missed the sale. Are they still honoring it? And just see. You never know. Okay, so Soothing Foot Scrub. Today when I was in there, I did get this one, the Walnut Shell Soothing Foot Scrub Toe the Line. Okay, that's what it's called. And it's four floor ounces. And it's 15 bucks for this little bitty thing. But I got it for $6.95 because I am all about keeping my feet looking good and also preparing my feet for the summer because, you know, we keep them covered all throughout the fall and the winter and in the summertime we got to make sure that we've got to you know get that dead skin off refurbish those toenails you know and so i got this because you want your heels looking good your ankles so this one i'm really excited and you know what's so funny can you pass me that yesterday when i was in this um the um world that one the samples the bath and body works my salesperson is so awesome you guys i'm going to show you what she did but in the meantime while she's grabbing this for me um the next one is hello beautiful so that's the hello beautiful however i'm looking through this i have not opened this yet okay y'all and i'm looking through this and they need to fill that up a little bit more anyway so this one's hello beautiful and i got this one the foaming sugar scrub um and this i, I just love the package of hello beautiful is it not just the most beautiful thing, you guys. Look at that. It, it fits the name. So I got that one. And this one's regular. $16.50 as well. And I got it for $6.95. Honestly, tell y'all the truth. I love Bath & Body Works. But I think that their scrubs are a little bit stretched with the price. So being that they had this sale, um, I, that's why I went all out. You can get up to $15. I didn't want to go crazy. I did get, what, six? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven I got like eight different scrubs I didn't go crazy but it's worth it when you see that they were six ninety five because they are regular fifteen thirteen to up to sixteen dollars that's a pretty much of a stretch for a body scrub anyway so yesterday when I was in there you guys how sweet is she, she you see these samples so I was really I wanted to try this and she was like you know what go home try it see if you like it and then if you do come back and get it tomorrow and you know see if you like it and i said thank you so i just thought that was the sweetest thing like that is what you call customer service you guys how sweet is that okay so anyway um i showed you the hello beautiful i got there and then with my last but not least with the body scrubs i got the refreshing citrus body scrub um it's nita margarita that's what it says sugar crystal uh, Crystal's True Blue Spa. This one, you guys, smells so good. It has a lemon scent, and you know I'm all about the lemon. And the regular price for this is $15 for this 6 ounce. 15 bucks for 6 ounces, you guys. Oh. Okay, so whatever. But anyway, $6.95. I didn't pay $16. I paid $15. I paid $6.95. So those are my choices. That is the blue. That is the Hello Blue. That is the True Blue Spa for the feet. This is the At The Beach I got. This is the Almond Vanilla I got, you guys. And this is the Jasmine one. I'm just going through it again with you guys. This is the Cocoa Butter. However, I do need to go back. The Cucumber one was out. I'm going to go back and get that Cucumber one. And then this is the Wildberry Chamomile. Okay, so then my son went in today. Um, and he purchased a couple of items from... You know, men are so crazy. They really limit themselves. Because I was like, no, get this, get that, get that. You should get this, you should get one. And he was like, look, I'm on a budget. I'm not trying. Uh, no. Women, we go in and we're just like, I want that and that and that. Men are just like, that's it. <laughs> it's so funny. We have, we, we can get really out of control when it comes to things we love. I know I can. And I know you girls do too. Don't play. Anyway, okay, so this is what he got. Because like I told you men, they just got a new line of men um, body, uh, you know, the um, body collection, bath collection, lotion. They just got a new line in. And it was $7 yesterday, and today was the last day for $7. However, if you're you're nice to your salesperson, you never know. They might honor it the next day. Okay, so anyway, let me tell you. He got the men's 
um, collection, the Ocean 2-in-1 Hair and Body Wash. He will not use this on his hair, though, because um, his hair can get dry. He has to be careful what shampoo he uses. But this one, and it smells really good. I love the Ocean scent. And then he went and he got the lotion. He was like, that's all I need. It's just this and this. And I'm like, but they're $7. He's like, that's it. Just this and this. And I'm like, really? Like, can you? Uh, okay. But he did get this cologne, you guys. I put it on my body myself. It smells so good. And it's a men, it's 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 lemon, it's called lemon. And it's from Bath and Body Works, and it's the men collection. But y'all, it smells so good, women can wear it too. So I'm just like, I don't know about just men wearing it. I'm just like, Lord, I'm gonna have to go get me some. So anyway, yeah, so he got this, and it's called Lemon. And they had the hand soap that was $12. And they had a little tube, y'all, it was a little bit bigger than this. A lot of you not, a little bit bigger than this. $19 for that lotion. It was like lemon oil in it and everything. But she said that that was a really good collection, but I'm just like, I just wait for it to go on sale. But he got this today because um, they have the coupon where you get 10 off of 30. So he did two separate transactions because you can't do that on the $7. And so he got the two items. I thought he got one more item. I'm tripping. I thought you got... I thought you got one more item. You just got these two? Okay. And so, um, the next thing, yeah, he's here. <laughs> so the next thing was, yeah, 10 off of 30. And that was this. And then he did a separate transaction where he got these for seven bucks each. And we had a 20% off coupon that we got in the mail. So, we saved a lot of money with that. So that is my haul for today with the um, Bath and Body Works. I hope, I really do hope you people, all of my beautiful followers and my beautiful people, I pray and hope that if you did go out, you did get the sale because it was a really good sale. But you know what's so beautiful about Bath and Body Works? I have to give them this much credit. They always have good sales. So if you missed one, don't feel bad, it'll come around. Because I remember it was like in December sometime. When is that? In December where they do like, it's a candle sale they do once a year. And it's like either in December or early January. I don't know which one it is. And they get like, I think they sell, they give the candles for like $8 each. I don't know if it's 6 or $8. You guys, I missed that sale. I was so devastated because I was at work. I could not get there and I was getting off late. Right, be, uh, it was beyond when they when they closed. They closed at eight, and I got off probably like ten, and I was just devastated. And everybody that tr I tried to call, can you just go, go, go? They were like, oh, I'm doing this, and I'm. Everybody was busy during that time, so I saw so many people do hauls on how many candles they got. So I will not be missing that sale this year. But anyway, if you guys look at the video that I did earlier, you will see the blue candles um, that they have out. Those are really, really pretty. However, it's a wrap. It's not like embedded into the glass. That's I think that's the only thing that I hate is like later on with the wrap if the wrapping's gonna come off. But I really, really wish that they could do that embedded in the glass. But the blue and white collection, you guys, is so pretty. Blue and white is just beautiful, period. And just the designs that they did on these new candles really, really are pretty. As soon as the candles go on sale, I'll be more than happy to buy some of those. And I will show you guys my favorite picks with the blue collection. But anyway, I hope everything is going well with you guys so far. God has been truly good. It has truly been a challenge for me this week. Um, I've been, like I told you I, earlier, I don't know. If, I think I did. I think I told you. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you again. I've been getting migraines because these glasses are weak and they changed my computer at work so that's been a problem because headaches i've at least had like two or three headaches this week and that is just not a good thing i don't like that and when i take these glasses off it's like blurry and then you know how you can feel your eyes straining i can feel my eyes straining in these glasses and i got a little frightened today and i just said you know what let me call my eye doctor make an appointment and go to the eye doctor and see what's going on and also change these these i've been wearing these for two years and i heard you're supposed to go no longer than two years so um and it's been two years since i've been to the eye doctor i know so it's time for me to go and i'm just praying y'all pray for me i'm praying for you and i'm praying that everything goes well with my eyes and that they can get the right 
um, prescription and the right results of whatever it is that I need the right you know what I'm trying to say of whatever it is that I need but anyway other than that everything has been going wonderful um, just continue to praying 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 uh, my grandmother on Mother's Day um, it was hard for her because she lost two sons last year six months apart one son died in a car crash. The other son grieved off of his death and passed in his sleep. And they both lived in this small town because all her other children live out of state except for one that lives probably 300 miles away from her. But the two brothers that were in the small town where she lives, now she has no children within that town. And my grandmother is 94 years old, you guys. She's strong, she's healthy, Everything is good, but this Mother's Day was not good for her because last Mother's Day, my uncle that passed two weeks later after Mother's Day stood up in church and just spoke so well about his mother. And so she had it. This is a woman to go to church every single Sunday. She does not miss a Sunday. She missed this Sunday. So you guys, I'm praying for my grandmother. Her name is Laura. She's 94 years old um, and she's a whippersnapper. Um, she's set in her ways, but you know, that's just her. We have to pray for them. We can't get all in our feelings with our grandparents when they get old and they set in their ways and they have they way the way they do things. You have to, you know, whatever. Just pray them on good, on out. But God, not out like that, but just pray. Just let them be. But God um, has been truly good to her. Um, she has been blessed and she thanks God every single day that she's 94 years old. However, she has buried, she's the oldest person in her city. She's the oldest person in our family. And she has buried all of her siblings. And that, she says, that's what's hard about growing old. Um, even though she has a still, you see a lot of loved ones leave. And so, you guys, but she is precious. Um, she gets on my nerves sometimes. She's my grandmother and she's very precious to me. So anyway, um, I pray for your grandparents too. Some of you guys that still have your grandparents and they're growing old up in age. They may get on your nerves because they like things in particular ways and don't don't move this, do that. And, and they don't may not understand what you're going through because they're 94 or they're in their 90s or 80s or 70s, whatever. They're in a different girl. Let me tell y'all. I say girl, girls and gentlemen, women, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you guys, times have changed. These people today, it is just strange. People don't even know how to do eye and eye, eye to eye contact. And I'm such an eye to eye contact person. And these people today, everything is, there's a guy literally, you guys, in my job. He walks like this everywhere he goes. I always see him doing this. And I'm just like, dude. Like there's more to life than just that phone. Oh my goodness. It's just, I don't know. And California, uh, you guys pray for me. You know, I'm going to ask y'all to pray for me. Pray for me. I, my prayer request. And you guys put your prayer request down below. I want us to pray for each other. That's the thing. I pray for whoever's out there that's sick in your body. You just found out that you're sick. I'm praying for you. I just found out a YouTuber, um, the Daily Davisons. I love Tiffany and her husband. Um, how dare I forget his name? Uh, oh, I forgot his name. But anyway, they're a lovely couple with their three little cute little precious boys. Her father had a stroke, you guys. He's in the hospital, Davison's. And I am just praying for her father's full recovery. But you guys, I pray for anybody out there. Where If you have a child that is sick, a parent that is sick, a sibling, if you're sick yourself. I pray for healing. I pray for God to give you peace and healing. But I also heard something today i don't know if you guys ever watch p allen smith like i love these garden shows and today he was in um costa rica and most they were saying how majority of people in costa rica are stressed that they, they're stress free and they're healthy because so much beauty is around them that when they do stress over something, they go to a garden and just walk and it releases their stress. And y'all, that is so true. Because on my hikes, my walks, when I go to pretty places, see flowers, that's why I always talk about the beauty around because it literally stops the stress. Trusting God, of course, but then seeing his, his creation helps your stress level. So if you're going through something, even if you're sick and you're going through something and you can walk, go outside. Pray, talk to God, walk, enjoy, take that fresh air in and let that, because a lot of times stress is what's making you sick. And then another thing, if you can't walk and somebody, you know somebody that cannot walk, you guys, go offer to take them for a walk in a wheelchair. 
you know, be with them. And even laughter and conversation. Y'all, we got to get back into day-to-day -day looking at each other and conversating, laughing. That brings so much joy to us, you guys. And, and this one woman was saying back, like how back in the day with our grandparents, how they lived healthy. And, and, and they, they're living long. My grandmother's a proof of that. Because they talked to their neighbors. They talked to the people in the store. They said hello. They smiled. All of that stuff, you just don't realize how that blesses your heart and helps your health. So you guys do that. So I'm praying for you, those of you who are sick or your children are sick or whatever. I'm asking God right now in the name of Jesus that he heals the, your babies, that he heals you, that he heals whoever you know that's sick, your parent, whomever. And I'm praying that he gives you peace in the meantime because you never know what God's will is. That also whatever his will is in the situation, he gives you peace about it. So I pray for that too. Um, and uh, I'm praying for myself. I need a bigger place to stay. It's just, it's, this place is too hot. I'm in a hot spot. I'm praying to move. been praying to move for a long time that God leads me to the right location. You always want to go where God puts you, leads you to the right location. I'm also praying that um, continuously, of course, better health. And just discipline with my eating, you guys. I love sweets. Oh, Lord, I'm a sugar tooth. That, that one right there, sugar tooth right there. It's that one. But anyway, <laughs> yes, I love sweets. But... I'm trying my best every single day to um, work on my weight. Another thing that I need prayer for, what was I going to say? Y'all, it's so much. It is so much. Um, just to just, cut every day, just to continue to stay strong, continue to focus on God, continue to pray for others, to help others, to be a blessing to others, and just be blessed by others because you don't always, I'm the blessing to you. No. We all bless each other. That's what we're here for. God wants us to love one another, take care of one another, pray for one another. And I'm praying for you new mothers. You new mothers that just had babies, God bless you. God bless you. This is a journey. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. So anyway, you guys, um, that, yes. Yeah, so pray for me. That's what I'm praying for is a bigger place to stay. And um, my weight, I need help with my weight continuously. Uh, motivation every single day. I found some really good motivation from some really good women online um, that have been encouraging me and I'm gonna look up their names I don't have it right now but I'm gonna look up their names and I'm gonna tell you guys about them but they are such an awesome inspiration and they have truly been a blessing to me and so you guys I'm just gonna see cuz it's it gets hard it really gets hard it's not easy but you have to stay disciplined and so I've been walking every single day and this week I'm going to incorporate more movement exercise um, light weight lifting maybe like no more than two three pounds I'm gonna add that maybe two days this week and um, just do a lot of walking a lot of walking has been helping me. when I get off work I go to my spots that are in my area and I walk and so it really does bless me walking is so good you guys get out and so anyway that's all I have to say. I thank you guys so much for watching me. And I thank you for listening to me babbling and just whatever. And I pray for you whatever you're going through. I pray that if you're looking for a job, that God blesses you with work, puts you in the right place. Um, and that he blesses you with the right amount that would help sustain you. And even with an overflow so you can be a blessing to somebody else. I also pray um, that um, God bless. And another thing for you single ladies, because I'm single. I, I was listening to a woman the other day. I felt so sorry for her. She was I just can't be single. I just need, I'm just like, girl, none of us. Okay, God put us here to have spouses. I believe that. That's great. But you have to be in tune with yourself. I, I, I love being single. And when God sends him to me, I'm going to love being in a relationship. But right now, this is where I'm at. And you have to find, I, I think I, I, I found myself drawing closer to God. And finding more about myself because he's showing me more things about myself and showing me things I didn't even know about myself and just giving me more confidence before I even get into a relationship with anybody you guys so any you single girls out there hold it honey hold it down do not fret do not give up keep praying I pray for whomever he is I said Lord if it's your will I pray that wherever he is that you bless him and in the right time, God will bless us to me. But in the meantime, enjoy God. Enjoy Jesus. Wrap yourself up in Jesus, child. Don't be crying talking about you single. You have the Lord. 
Let him show you who he is and who you are. You don't even know yourself. Okay? Trust him. All right, you guys. So I thank you so much for watching Journey with Char. You guys have a lovely evening. This is a Thursday evening here. I'm going to put this post. It'll probably be up tomorrow, Friday. And I have a couple of more. I'm also going to do a surprise a surprise bake. You guys didn't like my, um, my um, gluten-free cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I did some gluten-free cookies, a recipe. I'm going to keep doing recipes, you guys, because that's one thing I want to incorporate on my channel is doing recipes. So this weekend, I'm going to do something, and it is a surprise. You've seen it before many times, but I'm going to do my version of it, okay? And hope you guys like it. So you guys stay tuned, and if you like me, if you like me, please give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you like me. I'm not trying to force anybody, but if you like me, subscribe. And I also want to thank... To thank all of you who have subscribed to me. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for your subscriptions. I think that's what you would say. Yes. Thank you so much, you guys. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, if you like me, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching Journey with Shar. God bless. Thank you.